Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I have with me today Franklin Tucker, editor and publisher of the Belmontonian, Belmont's online source for hyperlocal news. Franklin, you've been at the school committee. The school committee has new officers for the coming year. That's correct. Um, uh, the uh, school committee elected uh, um, Amy Checkaway, uh, who is in her third year or first term uh, as the uh, chair. And uh, the secretary is um, uh, Meg Morardi. Um, that was a little bit of a, I guess she pulled the, the, the short straw. <laughs> on that one no it, it was it was a it was kind of funny because you know uh, um it you know the you had amy who got five votes uh, and um then um uh kate bowen uh gave her vote to uh amy um to become chair and then when it came to the secretary everybody kind of looked at each other and there was they, somebody who nominated another person and he said nope i don't want it uh so so it was like some western like 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 a like Deadwood or the uh, or the uh, flight of OK Corral, everybody was looking at each other, saying nothing. Like who's going to be the first one to dr drop on this one? So um, yeah, um, there was there is a uh, opportunity. Yeah, well, the uh, the school committee also talked about having a vice chair, and that's something that uh, is um, was um, uh, really uh, needed this year. If we because the uh, chairman is uh, going is not only doing a lot of work, just putting these meetings up and uh, having to uh, run the school committee, but she had she, uh, that person has to go to so many meetings, whether it's uh, negotiations or you know dialogues or executive sessions. So they they said a vice chair would be great if you could give off some responsibilities, um, but. Uh, they decide, but the school committee finally decided in the end that they would rather let it sit there for two weeks and let it um, let it, uh, just sit, <laughs> just let it sit there and just everybody wait until the next meeting to uh, decide whether to have it. It would be nothing controversial. It'd be something. It'd be uh, very much akin to what the uh, vice chair of the uh, select board does. So it's just they're going to wait two weeks. And th this is one of the uh, not the first uh, school committee meeting, but. The school committee really is starting to talk about the post override election uh, impacts. Uh, That's and there's right. There's good news and bad news. Yes. Uh, well, the good news, of course, is that uh, all students will be back in the classroom for the first time since uh, March of last year uh, on the last week of April, uh, on the Wednesday and Thursday. That Wednesday, uh, the middle school will be back full time in class, and the next day the high school will be. So uh, by the end of April, uh, they will, it will be um, um, all kids on deck at school. Um, uh, uh, Superintendent uh, uh, John Fallon um, uh, praised the uh, return to in-person learning uh, working group. Um, nearly 30 people getting together since January and um, uh, finding out ways and, and following um, um, uh, what the state is saying and uh, making sure that kids are going to be safe, but also education was going to be uh, increased. Um, he did. He had a lot of praise for that for that working group. Um, so um, uh, the school committee and the uh, school district um, found a way to uh, get the kids back in school, not not to everybody's pleasure but to what they felt was the best way to do it. And lunches seem to be, uh, continue to be one of the sticking points. Yes, it, it just, it's just one of those things that in every community, it's become, what are we going to do with lunch? Now, if you have a, a day like today, um, today is a snowing, <laughs> we didn't think snow was going to be around, but a wintry day, then you're going to have to bring those kids back inside and then you're going to have to have protocols, you know? So it's, and that's going to be a, uh, a little more difficult because you know Belmont doesn't really have space. You know we, we uh, Belmont bought a lot of uh, wedding tents so we could have outdoor eating. And of course, on a day like um, uh, in a few days, it's going to be seventy degrees and beautiful outside. So that would be you know advantageous there. So it, it, it's something that um, uh, no one really you know once you started to think about lunch, it became a a, a, a real uh, issue that. Uh, uh, causes a, a lot of problems within within the district. So, but they've got they they think they have a, a, it all planned out. Although there are some people in the public who uh, uh, feel that they, we're going overboard a little bit in terms of uh, um, where to put people and where to put children uh, uh, for lunch. 
you know, should they, should they, should they wear masks? Should, should, if one is eating, one has to be masked and things like that. But the district thinks it has, it's, it's made, it's, it's got its uh, job done. What's the budget news out of the school committee now? Well, right now the, uh, we, uh, we are in an austerity budget. Um, and uh, that was due to the uh, uh, loss of the override, um, the defeat of the override, I should say. Um, so uh, we had just basic um, uh, an overview a couple of weeks ago uh, in terms of what the uh, budget, where it would affect people. But now we have um, a much more detail that we put, they're actually putting faces to the, uh, to the reductions. At the elementary school, it would be two kindergarten teachers and two first grade teachers. Uh, at the middle school, it'll be a math specialist, a foreign language, a music teacher. Uh, at the high school, it would be a librarian, a world language, an ELA, and um, they would not hire somebody for to do community service. You know, we have a very big community service um, component at the high school. Um, they're going to try to find a way to do it without a um, person leading it. That's simply to, to uh, save um core um, uh, specialists. One other thing that we heard, and I think it's uh, something that's uh, on the, uh, uh, that, that could come up when the um, uh, budget is, uh, if they look at the budget and, um, uh, and, the, and the school committee uh, makes, uh, possibly make changes once we have more of a finalized uh, view of it. And that is um, 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 uh, extra curriculum. You know, they feel there's a, there's a, a feeling that um, uh, extracurricular uh, activities uh, uh, it could be uh, unfortunately a cost that uh, cannot be um, cannot be a burden anymore for, uh, for the uh, budget. And um, you know that's you know if you look at uh, if you look at um, well one person Charlie Con uh, Conroy um, came out and said that um, you know if you look at the sports budget it's one point one million dollars if you look at everything across the board and he says if if that's the case and we do have still a two point one million dollar uh, deficit let's cut sports and um, I think that and you know he is somebody who's well regarded in the sports area athletics in town he ran you know Belmont second soccer which introduces soccer to uh, kids uh, around the town uh, he's a he's a marathon runner actually a very good one and uh, he ran and he uh, managed uh, some of the road races that were in, uh, the, the uh, October road race. Yeah, for the, uh, friend. Road race. yeah, yeah, that's right. So, you know, he's not somebody who's anti-sports or anything like that, but he thinks it's now we've come down to uh, a critical point in education in Belmont that we should keep the core subjects uh, saved. And if that means sports has to go by the wayside, then so be it. And there was conversation on the school committee that there was some hope, but little hope for assistance from the state or federal government. Yeah, that's something that um, I think you know, we see a lot of people who, who um, uh, voted no and um, are convinced that uh, there's some way that the, uh, the money that's coming to the um, uh, coming from uh, the federal government to Belmont uh, uh, by the American Rescue uh, Act. Um, the American Rescue Plan, I should say, um, that uh, seven point two million dollars. It's um, uh, that a lot of that is flexible enough to be put into the uh, school budget. There's no indication that that's the case. Um, so far, it's uh, the best case scenario is about one point one million dollars. Now there there are ways of budgeting that. You know every you know um, you know if it's a COVID, uh, you know if you could say that uh, something within the school budget had been affected by COVID. And um, you know you can put that money in there and then spread the money that was supposed to go to that to that line item and then into like teachers teacher salaries which are trying to save some of the um, 11 point um, 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 full-time equivalent uh, positions and then that would be great but that doesn't seem to be a real um, uh, something that should be uh, considered um, an absolute in fact it probably will be a small number. Uh, and remember, this is money that's going to the town. It's not going to the schools. The school would have to negotiate with the town on where that money can go. So there's another issue there. And, um, and uh, finally, there's, um, uh, you know, um, a, a, there's a, a hope that uh, the um, um, state budget will have local aid. We'll see a large increase in local age, uh, local aid. 
um, many people believe that um, uh, that uh, you know because the cough because state has getting in a lot of money you know, f- uh, in terms of uh, revenue that they will spread that out to the uh, to the cities and towns. That, that's you can't really hope for that because the state itself wants to increase its rainy day its own rainy day fund. It has a lot of things that they wanted to do statewide. So to think that they're just going to just uh, big up, put a big check to the cities and towns. Um, probably isn't uh, going to be there. Isn't going to happen. Isn't going to happen. So we look at the, you look at the governor's budget, and he's already put out his his figures. Uh, I don't think you'll see the legislature just you know trumping him by twenty or thirty percent. So we have to think that money certainly isn't going to be coming in. Well, thanks for bringing us up to date. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.